Yeah, you're not seeing this wrong. That is a treasure chest on fire. And I don't have the ability yet to put it out. In fact, I didn't even know how the heck we're supposed to even advance in this force, but at least we got some information and hopefully it'll work out. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Navarra Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Okami as part of the Elite Six series. So last time, we set foot here in Agata Forest, where we had the opportunity to notice that there is not much room to work with in this place. It's very, the real estate is very small around here, and so it'll be tough for us to be able to figure things out in that regard. Um, but, um, we were able to find that there is one person here, um, a fortune teller, who tried to point us in the right direction, and we'll see if anything comes out of that. Um, there were a couple things, though, that did confuse me. Um, I tried to set a cherry bomb next to that, um, rock, and it didn't blow up. I also tried to use lily pads to, um, position myself so I could jump up to that treasure chest, and that didn't work either. So I'm hoping that there's other skills that I'm going to need to get later that'll help me out with that. But as it stands right now, after taking a video review to try and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do next, I now have a destination in mind. We have to come up here, back to where the... Um, well, I guess we got the plate our way back up there. Which I don't mind, really. those things do yet. But if, I, if, I, if I find out, I'll tell you guys know. Okay, get back here, fly. Or fish. You're a fish. You're not a fly, you're a fish. You hurt like crap. I got you all? Yeah, I did, and I got a perfect score. Oh my god. I want to get myself back up to higher ground. Which I believe I'm already at. Um, let's get through you. Oh, it's Tycho. Wasting no time in the Yeah, hey there. Behind you, Tycho. I wonder if we can... I'm staying on his drum. What? Okay, I've never seen that before. Okay, I've never seen that before. That was hilarious. I'm, I'm standing on his drum. Did you see that? Yeah, pop up here, Tycho. Pop up, so I Wow, you're using your defense really well today. what we're looking for, and damage was inevitable. Yeah, yeah the Tycho is really playing defense today. There we go. Oh, it took damage for staying behind. I don't understand why. I don't understand why that happens sometimes. We'll get a 6 day combo out of that. It's a shame that can't count for the 4 wins skill that you can learn from the beauty. That's really unfortunate. He's almost down. Tom Trasu, we had a 6 day combo happen just a moment ago. I'm lazy. Alright, there we go. Yeah, when you're fighting the Tycho, you know it's going to be slow and steady wins the race. Wow, I cannot believe I'm going to have to get through all of you guys. Like, you, de you definitely woke up this morning to fight. That's two fish. Should be a perfect score, and it is. Yeah, I think 
I might want to start editing out um, basic fights if the enemies are new. In, fa in fact, yeah, I know it's uh, the old RPG tactic, but I think I'm going to do that from now on. So yeah, we finally got back up, up, up here. And apparently, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to risk life and limb in order to find a, a location that is beneath you. Now, I don't know why they set it up this way, but apparently, after looking at a video of you, you're supposed to pretty much willingly find a suicide and get yourself around to this edge here. But yeah, here, right here. Like, that's nuts. Like, I, I would never think to do that, but of course, this is a blind let's play, I would never think of anything. Cherry found that door. And we got another Sakura. Or rather, a guardian sapling, rather. What's it doing down here? Mommy, time for that magic brush of yours. Make that sucker blue. With pleasure, if it'll accept it. I position myself and. Yeah. Crappy circles. That's my first day. Alright, there we go. And exercise. Exercise for a speaking place. Why would anyone say that, that, yeah, that's what you gotta do in order to do? find access to a safe area, just throw yourself into danger like that, into a cursed zone intentionally, in order to get yourself into safety. Like that... That makes no sense. That, that's, that's just ridiculous, that you have to throw yourself into the cursed zone on purpose in order to find the Guardian Sapling. Are there gonna be more things like this when we're gonna see a situation like that? And then the chest contain devout beads. I'm new to find an instrument guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Wow, well, Sakuya's gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are gonna try to get you anyway they can. So you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. So does this replace the... I saw that it was a circle. Does it replace the fire disc I'm currently equipped with? But remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull out some secret techniques with your sub-weapons. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? <laughs> Thanks. I know you're not too bright, but... Well... Thanks, soon. I can always count on you to be reassuring. Just try to equip that divine new instrument as a main weapon! Okay, so that's my default. And so we're getting this. As main weapon. So this should be sub-weapon then, I guess. These all know I'll have both. Holy Rosary capable of rapid attacks and equipped as a sub-weapon. Well, if that's the case, then this should be my sub-weapon. Because, yeah, capable of rapid attacks, that could be what I need to finally get that four wind skill from Onigiri. Got the hang of it? Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours. Well, it acts as a shield when you equipped as a sub weapon. If you're under attack, press the Z button to guard with it. You should test it out on the monsters in the area. Oh, and one more thing. You remember what Sakuya said, don't ya? The sacred tree in Kamiki Village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian sapling is survived. 
Make sure to stop by Safia's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Alright, I believe I will. In the meantime, I believe I will take more praise. And some herbs. And I forget, keep forgetting, bunnies like herbs, not seeds. Bunnies aren't birds. There you go, more praise. And then what's behind you? Because I see something behind you. I see a dig spot. Let's make I'm sure I am directly over said dig spot. That's another one of these stupid black clovers. Like, what's the point of them? Maybe someone in the comments can tell me, like, what's the point of the black clovers? What, what's their purpose? What do they accomplish? Anyway, let's get back out into dry lane, as it were. Now, um, oops, that's not what I had in mind. Can I keep going this way? Well, I can, but I'll trigger a cutscene by the looks of it. Or well, I was about to say, are we just gonna freeze here? But I guess there's a musician somewhere. Above us. Off the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Doesn't look like Susano though. Waka, the god's gift to man is here. And he even speaks French too. It's our master Waka. What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. Oh, you recognize it. You look kinda weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. So special way up there, huh? To fight him. Get down here and talk face to. Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can he see Yami's true form? Huh? Well, you asked him to come down, so that's exactly what he's gonna do. In fact, he's gonna be like Jesus and walk on water. into a sword. How reassuring. You put me up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. maybe you should keep your big mouth shut sometimes and soon. This is how I get my point across, pun intended. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nepal, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword to real me. Into Kamiki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Uh, Ami, you're getting all worked up again. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an ear full of my beloved sword. Behold, Pillow Talk. That's the name of your sword. I can't believe we're actually going to need to come out with you. And you have two swords, not one. Well, let's rock, baby. Safe place I can stay on the bike. Because, yeah, I'm not gonna be um, a safe place anywhere if I can't position myself correctly. But, yeah, let's. I think he knows to stay away from cherry bombs. I do not know how to stay out of water. Yeah, I imagine this will be a difficult fight. I need to block that. Yeah, and every time I try and defend myself, he finds a way to protect himself. There we go. There we go. It doesn't help that I'm in 
such close quarters against this guy. Whoa! And I'm out of ink. Crap. He's off the dodge for a while. better on health than I am. Come on there. Whoa! Ah, I was gonna get hit there. Um, fan menu. Um, tools. I need to feed myself a holy bone. Good thing I bought a few of these before I left the Niki. Yeah, I'm gonna need them. Ah, I thought I scored. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, he's loaded a quarter! Come on! How am I supposed to get him out there on the water? Get back on dry land. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, if, if nothing else, the holy bones have given me an advantage. So I would not win this fight otherwise. Are you in attack? Yeah. Where was that when I needed it? Where was that series of attacks when I needed it? a calculator risk, and it was worth it. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Amaterasu. That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Ami? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse me, baby. You see, I was looking into that cursed zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Yep, that's him. Do not utter that name without reason. Yeah. Yeah, remember, he's like Voldemort. You do not speak his name. That alone could curse the weak of mine. Orochi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guarded. And yet, you know the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinsu Field. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Sukuyomi. The beast evil has caused the curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Really? Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. Seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. And meanwhile, yeah, you put Amaterasu to sleep. We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That's a road he's gonna be mincemeat when we're through with him. So you're 
are the ones who revive the trees in this area. But a lot of time's passed since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, Marshadi. <laughs> I'm sorry to say our battle just now was a big disappointment. Well, thanks. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but... One cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your hundred year slumber. That's enough! Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki! How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I can see a log and big thrills. A log and big thrills, huh? You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. And you have a crow on your head. I just noticed that now, and it's... I guess that's its wings. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. <laughs> Who the heck does he think he is? Yeah, learning how to speak French in Japan. In ancient Japan, no less. Hey, wake up, Ami! We got work to do! Indeed. <laughs> There's work that's still to be done. However, we will leave it for the next episode. 2000... 2000 yen. Alright. Oh, that thing's still in effect. Wow. I wonder just how long it lasts. Well, at least we have an idea of where we can go. There's a hut that we can be visited. There's also um, a, sh a gate by the looks of it. It's down in the bottom right. And now the invincibility wears off. Plus, there's also a river that we need to cross, and I suppose that will take us into our next area. But we will leave that for next time. Because, yeah, after that fight, we're kind of in a bit of a need to recover our strength, as it were. But next time, we will see what else can be done here in the Gothic Forest. Plus, um, I, I could probably visit um, the Guardian Sapling back in Kamiki. Uh, because, of course, we know that there's a fruit there, so we can get that off camera, and I can show you guys what it holds next time. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Mets Playable comic. And when I join you again, we will see what else can be done here in the Gotham Force, and we'll also move on to the next area of the game. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew and the Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.